Hi everybody, my name is Roshan Rai and you are watching your smart TV. Today I am going to show you how to create a tea cup with a realistic tea. Before we begin, I would like to request if you are visiting first time in my channel, please subscribe to for more updates. After watch this video, if you like, don't forget to hit like button and if you have any question, you can ask me on comment section below. Okay, let's jump into the blender. First of all, open up your blender and delete everything by press X from your keyboard. Now I'm going to add a new object. Click on add, click on mass and click on UV sphere. Zoom in a little bit and go to wireframe mode. and go to edit mode press 1 from your keyboard and press 5 from your keyboard and press A to deselect everything B to select border select like this first press b from your keyboard and drag like this and press x key from your keyboard to delete vertices and click on vertices And click again B to border select and press X key from your keyboard and press S and G drag like this now I'm going to add some thickness before set some thickness go to object mode and click on solid mode now I'm going to add some thickness and click on add modifier and click on solidify here is the thickness option. Type here 0.1 and click on apply and see what will be result. And add some smooth. Click on surface and surface and increase the view and click on apply and click on smooth see our tick off is ready now I'm going to set new materials go to cycle renders and click on use note and click on diffuse and click on glass now our tick off is ready now I'm going to add new object for re realistic T click on add and click on mesh and click on UV sphere this will be our realistic T zoom in little bit like this and now I'm going to set off new materials for T 
you can set off any color whatever you like Now color is ready. I already choose this color. Now, now we already set off new materials for T. Now I'm going to add new object for domain. click on add and click on mesh and click on cube and zoom up like this and go to wireframe mode click on object mode and click on here and click on wire and press 1 from your keyboard and act just like this after adjust by pressing 1 click press 3 from your keyboard and adjust and do same process Now our domain is ready. Now I'm going to add info for T. Click on now I'm going to add flute effect for our T objects. Click on physics and click on fluid and click on fluid and volume select cell and select tick off and do same process go to physics and click on fluid and click on obstacle and volume select cell and click domain go to object mode and click solid And go to physics again and click on the float and click on domain now you can adjust your resolution did you uh, resolution like this if you want if you want more resolution increase the here is resolution option you can increase your resolution like this and click on back memory after done your baking process you can play your animation like this Now disappear and play again your animation.
now reset your effect by press s from your keyboard and play again After reset your effect, set new frame, start frame and end frame like this. Now I'm going to add 20 start frame and I'm going to add end frame 150 like this. Now our effect is ready. It will be our T effect and click on render and see result. Now I'm going to add new object for ground. Click on add mesh and plane and zoom off a little bit and drag down like this press 1 from your keyboard and adjust like this and press 3 from your keyboard and add some thickness and do same process click on solid file and click on 0 0.1 and click on apply See, our ground is ready. If you don't like, you can adjust your sides also. Now, I'm going to set off new materials for ground. You can select any color, whatever you like and click on render and see what will be our result now set again your T color and click on render again and see result and see your result now I'm going to save this file and put your file name and click on save as blender file Now our project is ready to render. Click on camera and set off video format like this. Just follow my video. After select your video format, click on render, click on animation and wait until you are finished